I've been saving making this video for a while, I wanted the conditions to be just right before I filmed this. This is one of my favorite times of the year because the panfish start going shallow, but the important part is it's not just the panfish are going shallow, it's the big panfish that are starting to go shallow. In this video I'm going to one of my secret honey holes in a search to catch some big red ear sunfish. There's a couple things I like to look for when I'm fishing for red ear sunfish. A lot of times when I want to catch the big ones, I'm either going to focus on weed lines, timber, or creek channels. Obviously in this case I'm fishing timber, this is a beaver lodge in this cove. What I really like about this spot is that it is a fairly shallow cove with a lot of protection and cover right off of a fairly large and very deep lake. So this gives it the potential to have some very large sunfish, there's enough food and forage for those to exist, and this is the perfect place for them to be this time of year. Now like a lot of panfish, your tactics on these do not need to be very complex. You can catch them on about anything. You could be throwing jigs, you could throw the fly rods, you could throw bait under a bobber. In this video I wanted to catch a bunch to keep, and so I'm just fishing bait under a bobber. It's a very effective method and it's very easy to do. All I'm doing is fishing a small float, and about a foot to about a foot and a half beneath it is a small 164th ounce jig head. And this jig head is tipped with night crawlers. I like to use smaller hooks personally, especially when I'm keeping fish, it's easier for them to get that hook and for it to hold. The problem with doing this is you get a lot of short fish. I caught a lot of smaller bluegill and long ear sunfish that I really wasn't interested in catching, but in the end I did catch a good number of keeper red ear sunfish, so in my mind it's worth the trade off. One of the things that's really important to me when I'm fishing is making sure I'm fishing public land. I like to make sure my videos aren't just strictly being filmed on private property. I want to show you guys that fish like these are totally accessible in most bodies of water. This is one of the public FWAs close to Evansville. Basically what this is, it's a federal wildlife area. It gives people a place to fish and hunt. In Indiana at least, they have really good maps that are published, but with the help of Google Maps you can find a lot of other places inside those property bounds that aren't really marked on the maps very well. And as you can see in this case, that's exactly what I did. I've searched through Google Maps, I've found some great spots that aren't really known well. If you're willing to hike and wade through some water, you can get to some really cool spots that most people can't get to, and places that people can't bring boats to usually. In this case, I put on my waders and hiked through some really muddy spots and some really weedy areas, but in the end I got to a spot like this where it really gets almost no fishing pressure and you can catch some really nice fish very consistently. A lot of times I'm a catch and release fisherman. But I've fished this spot so much already this year and I haven't filmed here yet that I know there's a really sustainable population of red ear sunfish, so I thought this was a great opportunity to take a stringer along and actually keep a couple fish. Unlike the winter, when I'm fishing in the spring and fishing bait for these fish, I don't like to keep my bait sitting in the same spot for too long. I think at the absolute most I'll keep a bait sitting in one place for about 5-10 seconds. At the absolute most, a lot of times what I like to do is a lot like I do when I float jig, I'll cast it out, let it sit for a couple seconds twitch it a little bit, and slowly work it away from the structure. A lot of these fish were right near the structure, but there were the occasional fish just sitting out in the middle of the open, so make sure you kind of fan cast around, explore those different depths, explore those different areas, and you'll tend to find fish. That's about all the tips I have for catching red ear sunfish. As you can see, I caught some really nice red ear sunfish just fishing off of shallow timber in a cove. This is a great way to target them in the spring. I would highly suggest you give it a try. There's a bunch of different methods you can do and you'll be successful with most of them. So go out, give it a shot. This is a great time of year to go out and catch a lot of fish. There's a bunch of insects hatching, there's a bunch of bait around, so the fish are very hungry and very actively taking things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, good luck and tight lines.